from the internet. Today I'm taking my Chris Vector Strife that I've bought probably like a year ago now and I'm actually going to paint this plaster for a change. My idea is to do a sort of a camo job on it. Um, I'm going to use the following colors. So I've got a top of green here, it's a darkish matte green. I've got a matte black. Then I've obviously got the plastic primer that I'm going to use and I've got a clear coat. Um, this will be the first time that I ever try and do a type of a camo job on this and let's be honest here, this Chris Vector bolt that I've done is probably my best blaster that I've got. It has to come out looking good. I can't have a crappy looking blaster that has got the best performance. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, uh, as you can see I've already started um, gutting the blaster and I'm just gonna start by sanding off the shell um, and then as I make progress during the day, I'll pop in here and just show you what I've done. Um, as you can see here, I've got the Strife and the Chris Vector kit uh, set out in front of me. Um, you can see that I've sanded down the Strife bodies and I have painted it with a plastic primer so far. I actually ran out of the plastic primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spray the body green and then decide from there on if I actually want to spray the kit or not. I'm a little bit concerned that spraying the kit will not look as nice as what it looks like unpainted. So I'm going to do the body green, assemble the, the vector, look at it and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with the camo. Um, whether I'm going to apply it to the rest of the kit or am I only going to do the camo to the shell of the strife. Alright, so next is the green paint. I'll be back in a few minutes. Right, so let's see where I am at this stage. Okay, so as you can see I've got all the components laid out in front of me right now. Everything has been painted green and black where needed. Okay, you can see the handles being painted black, handles painted black. It's supposed to be matte black, but it's more of a satin. Um, it's, it's not really matte. Um, I did shake it very well. Then uh, you can see I gave in and I actually decided to paint the, the kit. The kit has been painted green. I actually thought it, that, that it didn't come out too badly. It actually looks pretty good actually. Um, and you could, but I did not paint the, st the stock. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but right now I feel like I don't want to do that. I also painted the flash hider. Uh, I gave it an orange nozzle. Just because I'm going for such a serious looking blaster, uh, I don't want to get it mistaken while I'm playing with my kids and somebody decides to shoot me. But uh, for more realism, there's obviously that type of look that's got no orange. Right, uh, then you can see I've painted the buttons, I've painted the barrel, all of that. I did not paint the, the handle. Again, we'll see how it goes. All right, so in the next stage that I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble this. Um, and well, technically I should be fitting the, the LiPo next. But uh, there is a bit of a problem that I just discovered. So this is my battery. Um, it's in a battery door and it fits in like so and it normally f works pretty well but and I checked the battery the battery fits in perfectly into the compartment let's just get that piece off there we go it fits in perfectly into there sorry other way around Obviously, I'll have to shorten the wires and all of that, blah, 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 blah. So it leaves about that much of space that the LiPo has to push into this. This battery ex compartment, extending compartment door, whatever you want to call it. Uh, bit of a problem there. The LiPo does not fit into it. It's a bit of a fail. So I'm like thinking, what is the point of this door now that I bought? Because... Uh, it does not really extend, does it? Seeing that the, bit, the LiPo does not really fit into it. So um, I'm hoping that I can just machine a part of it away. We'll have to see. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll have, probably have to buy a new one 
or we have one printed. Okay, so I think the next stage that I'm going to do before we get to the actual mechanics and electronics of this, I should just let's just put this all together, see what it looks like, and let's finish the paint job. Hey guys, and it is the next day. You can see by my different clothes that I'm wearing. It's the next day, and I'm going to give you a status update. So in the last uh, section, I showed you I painted everything green. It, everything was assembled. And I mentioned I was going to assemble it just to get the actual look. And I've done it. And this is the vector. I think it looks <laughs> it looks pretty, pretty cool. It looks actually um, fairly genuine and serious, I, I would say. Um, you can see I've given this thing, this obviously the orange nozzle for safety. But you can take this off and have a pretty good, some awesome sight. Alright, so what is next? Next, I'm going to take this vector. And I'm going to give it a digital triangle camo pattern, okay? And I really hope it works, um, because I could stuff it up seriously. So what I've done is um, I've taken some cardboard and I've cut some pieces out. I'm not sure if you can see like that, Whoa. like that. Um, and some more and then some smaller triangles. And the idea is I'm going to take off obviously all the black pieces now um, and I'm going to overlay these uh, the big blocks first. We're going to start with the, the very very rough uh, patterns like that and then we're going to work our way to the smaller triangles. And uh, the colors that I'll be using, I went to the shop today uh, because the original colors that I started out with was going to be this green it was going to be bl and black uh, i've gone and got two additional colors so this is the original green that this thing is painted and i got a slightly lighter green this is a satin moss green okay for me it's just a lighter green and then i got a brown as well this is a satin nutmeg so using that pattern I'm gonna just spray it. Obviously, I'm gonna do some trial runs first just to see if this is gonna work. If I stuff it up now, this, this whole thing will be stuffed. Um, but, oh, I wanted to show you this as well. I painted a part of the stock. I'm not sure if you can see. So, the majority of it is black, but the top part where it joins into the gun, I've painted that the green color. So, you've got a bit of a green. Um, going down the stock just blending it in so slightly so that it doesn't just appear just to be black uh, I think that came out pretty cool uh, right now this gun is not a blaster rather it's not operational at all none of the internals is working um, and I still can't fit my life I don't have a solution for that yet but I'll check in with you after I've actually applied the scatter pattern and uh, Let's see how it comes out. Hi YouTubers. Okay, I want to, to give you a quick feedback on the camera progress. You can see here, um, I've gone for masking tape. My original idea of using these cardboard boxes did not work lacquer. So I've decided to use uh, masking tape to mask the shapes that I want to paint. Uh, you can see I'm busy applying it so far. The end result, um, well, it will tell us if this worked or not. Okay, so I'll continue with this and I'll give you an update a bit later. Alright, I'm here to give another update. It's another day. I think it's now day three since I actually started this project. Um, you can see the current progress. I've started adding some black um, arrows here and there onto the paint scheme. I think it's starting to come out okay. Uh, I'm nearing the end. Um, I need to fill it up, touch up these black areas here that got oversprayed. You see I just touched up this handle area over here. I screwed up the paint job right over there a few moments ago. I'm going to have to go and fix that again. It's a real pain. Um, I have to do the other side still. I've decided to keep the top row black. Uh, and not paint that at all um, so the gun will be camoed but the top rail will remain black 
Um, you can see I also ended up painting the stock. I think I mentioned previously that I was not going to do it. But after looking at it, it looked funny um, because you had this solid line right here where it suddenly became black. Um, I originally started trying to do some green here and just leave it black, but that didn't work. So um, right now I think this is turning out quite all right. Um, I think this side is done. I don't think there's any more black really needed. Maybe just one here to break this line coming from this black line. Uh, of course, you don't want so any straight lines to be honest. So if I've got a black um, rail up here, I need to have it somehow come into the gun and blend. But yeah, this is the update for now. So it's been roughly a month since I last reported on this project and I have to apologize for that, but stuff just happened. So um, we are still in lockdown here in South Africa due to this COVID-19 coronavirus thing. Um, it's currently the 13th of June. And since the last about a month ago, I've just got caught in doing things around the house. And I also had issues with getting materials to could finish the project off. As shops are closed, we're not allowed to go out of our house, or we were not at least at that time, and so forth. But now I've been able to get what I need, and I continued. And um, I am happy to say that, uh, that, uh, that it turned out pretty good. So obviously, I hope some of you are excited to see how this thing turned out. So here it is. This is my Chris Vector Strife. Um, you can see the camo. It looks pretty good. So let's talk about the changes that came since the last video that I did. Because obviously all the parts are painted now. It's all assembled. It's not fully working yet, but I'll get to it now. Uh, I got a nice black magazine for this blaster, which is better than the orange. I think this looks pretty cool. Um, there's an orange tip on the blaster. Now I'm not sure if I added that before. The, I painted the stock. I know I didn't want to paint the stock in the past, but the stock has been painted. I um, got a reflex sight for the blaster. Turn that on. You can see. I think that's pretty cool, gives us a pretty cool look. Um, yeah. Then I also added a laser dot onto the blaster as well. Um, that, I think this, the overall package, the look of this blaster is just amazing. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So uh, let's just talk about the paint job for, for a moment. How did I actually go about getting it the way it is? Um, so I tried I try to cover some of that in the previous video, but it was very short. So obviously I painted all, all green and then what I did is I started putting shapes over, over the, the blaster, okay, over the green. Uh, this, this, there's four colors on here. There's a green base coat, then there's a lighter green. Then there's a brown, well, it was, it was dark green, then brown, then light green, and then I ended off with the black, okay. I used the black to try and break the, the straight lines on the blaster. So you can see here where on the straight rail, I've got the black intersecting there, got it over there. On the handle, yeah, I've got it going up. So basically all I did is, uh, <laughs> I was very concerned that this wasn't going to work. But it turned out very well. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And all it is, is it's just basically big triangles overlapping each other. That's all that this is, okay? Um, let me know what you think. What do you think about the look of this blaster? I think it came out pretty cool. Okay, so where where's this blaster at the moment? This blaster has got a 3S LiPo here in the battery, in the battery compartment at the moment. I had to machine it a little bit to the, well not the LiPo, but I had to machine the battery compartment to get it to fit. Uh, as you can see, I fitted a volt, new voltmeter to the battery door. Um, that was not there before. Um, so then my next steps is now to wire the internals. So I've got um, honey badges in here at the moment. Um, then I've got high crush wheels in here. And I've got a, ooh, 
can't remember what cage I've got in here. But I'm gonna wire this blaster up now and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Um, I'm not gonna go through all, show you all the, as I go do go about doing it. I've covered on my channel, I've showed you how to wire a strife, I've showed you how to wire up a, a lipo, I've showed you how to wire up a voltmeter. So I'm not gonna show you all those things again. This video was mainly about the painting of this, of this blaster, of this Chris Victor. I think it turned out pretty good. So once, once I've done, done and I've got it all assembled, then I'll show you it and we'll do a bit of a fire demonstration. All right, let me quickly do those things and through the magic of filmography, it will just take a few seconds. And I'm back. And here we are. The blaster is fully working and it's assembled and it's ready. I'm done. This has been a project that's probably gone on for about a year, so I'm happy to actually come to the end of it. Um, I just discovered something that I need to show. Um, in the box of the Chris Vector kit, I discovered there were some stickers and I applied these stickers here now, you can see here and on the other side, uh, over here. And it actually gives the blaster a, a nice feel. I mean, you can now hold it here, as an example. You can hold it here instead of the handle. Um, and it's comfy. Um, and I guess this is what you've all been waiting for. I mean, you can hear the blaster. Those uh, honey badges that's in here are very, very happy. Um, they've got a lot of power now coming through from the 3S LiPo as well. Um, I tested the blaster, I played around with it a little bit. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, you can see the, the voltage are running a little bit low probably on the LiPo. It's run about a 3 volts range now per cell instead of a 4. Um, but yeah, I, I am very, very happy. So what I'm going to do next now is I'm gonna just going to take it outside. Let's shoot at some targets. And so you can just see the performance of the blaster. But overall, I'm extremely happy. Okay, and we are outside and I'm ready for the fire demonstration. I figured I would just get dressed for the occasion as well. All right, so let me take the time quickly to show you the setup. Okay, so as you can see right here, I've got the vector set up on a camera tripod. Um, it's just held there by friction, as you can see there, between the handle and the magazine. And over there, I've got a target set up. Okay, so I've got a camera here that's going to record the impacts. You can see the target there, and I'm hoping that you can see the laser dot. Okay, that is where ideally we want to hit. Okay, obviously it's off center right now. I'll adjust when I get back to the blaster. Okay, we've got a lot of dog activity in the background. So let's just see if I can actually aim here. And here we go. Ammo. Okay, so it's as I predicted, um, fairly inaccurate, roughly around about the target, I would say 20 to 30 centimeters around the bullseye, uh, where most of the hits. And um, but I guess it's okay for Nerf, it was okay. Um, I've also, also noticed that the magazine that I'm using here, this 20 dot banana mag, um, the dots are not getting pushed up. Uh, as they should so they're getting a bit stuck I don't know if you noticed while I was shooting but overall I'm happy so guys this is the end of the Chris Vector build if you enjoyed this please subscribe to my channel and um, how about a like cheers <laughs>